My first backcountry trip was the Fried Valley. We figured without any experience in hiking whatsoever that we could hike 23 kilometers to a backcountry hut uh, with massive, massive backpacks. I did every rookie mistake. We had the spaghetti sauce in glass jars and a full brick of cheese. Who eats a full brick of cheese in three days? By kilometer 17, I am bawling my eyes out. I was exhausted and I was like, I couldn't keep on going. We made it to the hut the next day. I saw what people brought for food and I'm like, there is a better way to eat well without breaking your back. So yeah, that first trip was just such an eye-opener for me and then eventually I started getting into creating my own recipes. Knowing that there's amazing food at the end of that trail or on top of that climb, I will climb faster. My name is Estelle Blanchette and I've lived in Jasper for 25 years. I hitchhiked to Jasper with a couple of girlfriends in 1998. We had roughly about 60 bucks each in our pockets and a backpack full of Ichiban noodles. Initially, when we left Quebec, it was to come to Jasper. I fell in love with the place and then eventually made it my home. I started working in tourism when I first arrived in Jasper and was very involved with uh, restaurants and working with chefs and you know helping in creating menus and, and wine tastings and did that for uh, 12 years and that's where my professional development really happened when it comes to food and hospitality. Picnic is uh, an experience that brings all of my favorite things together. It's a hike and it's a backcountry cooking demo, and it's a beautiful handcrafted meal on top of a mountain. Cooking in the outdoors, just the aromas and the scents are just phenomenal. Everything tastes better. There's a small percentage of people that actually take the tour to learn about backcountry cooking. But then throughout the tour, they get inspired. Just the conversation of food brings the conversation of travels and it brings the conversation of cultures and connecting with one another with this one universal that is part of everyone's life. It's neat to see friendship and relationship developing over food. <laughs>